Welcome to the Center of Maths, Basic Series and Real Analysis. Today we're going to talk a little bit about interchanging operations. So, so uh, one thing we can prove about a uniformly converging sequence of functions, uh, so f1, f2, etc., and is a uniformly converging sequence of continuous real value functions on the closed integral a, b. Then we have the integral from a to b of the limit as n goes to infinity of f of n of x dx equals the limit as n goes to infinity of the integral. So we can switch those two limits if f1, f2, f3, etc. cetera, is a uniformly uh, converging sequence of functions. So to prove this, we mainly just want to note that uh, we can take low n bigger than some integer uh, big n, such that f of x, where f of x is the limit of f n of x, f of x minus f n of x is less than, the absolute value of that is less than uh, e over b minus a, where you use some real number greater than zero, as small as we want. So uh, from this, we can take the integral of this whole inequality we get uh, the integral from a to b of f of x minus f n of x dx. Is the absolute value of that is less than e. Or uh, the integral of f of x dx minus the integral of f n dx is less than e for n, little n big enough. But just uh, taking uh, little n at limit as n goes to infinity, we see uh, the integral of a to b f of x dx uh, will equal the limit as n goes to infinity of integral of a to b f n dx. And this left-hand side is really just the limit as n goes to infinity of fn x uh, and the integral of that. So this is really just the opposite uh, order of operations as a right side. So another interchanging theorem we can prove is if we have uh, some sequence of functions f of n uh, with continuous derivatives. And we have the, the, the derivatives of f1, derivative f2, derivative et cetera, that converges on an open interval. And for some x prime in this open interval, f1, x prime, f2, x prime, et cetera, converges. Then the sequence of functions fn must converge to some fu function f. And also we have that we can interchange the derivative and the limit of the f of n. So uh, derivative of f is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of the derivatives of the f of n. So we can interchange these two operations. So first we're going to use a fundamental theorem of calculus. So we know the integral from x prime to x of the derivative of fn dt gives us fn of x minus fn x prime. Uh, so taking the limit as n goes to infinity, knowing from our previous theorem, since the fn's converge uniformly in our open interval, we can switch the limits, and so we get uh, that, yeah, since they converge inside, this thing converges, this thing converges, so there are some converges, so fn of x must also converge. Uh, so yeah, now we've established that fn of x, in fact, has some limit. And so, uh, and then, so we take the limit of everything and we switch the integral and limit on the left side. And we get integral from x prime to x of limit uh, fn prime equals f of x minus f x prime. f of x is just our limit now. And using the fundamental theorem of calculus one more time, we see the limit of fn uh, prime of x. Um, this thing is in fact the derivative of f of x. And so this expression limit as n goes to infinity of f of n uh, prime of x equals f prime of x is really uh, our desired claim. Uh, thanks for watching. Please check us under math.org. Check out our blog and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. If you like this video, please check out our, our other real analysis uh, basic videos. Thank you.